Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm bringing you guys a review of the Logitech Wireless Illuminated Keyboard K800. And I got this off of Logitech's website with a promo code. You can also find it on Amazon for around $80. So the nice thing about this keyboard is that it is wireless, it is illuminated, and it is rather thin. Um, that's the main selling point of this keyboard. And I'm just gonna be going over a couple things, giving you guys uh, my opinions of it and how well I think it actually works. But first, let's just take a look at what actually comes with the keyboard. First, we have our USB charging cable. Um, basically, this is just plugs into any USB port. It's definitely long enough um, to reach around uh, either your laptop or your desktop. And this is a, an extension cord for your receiver. If you wanna remove your receiver closer to your keyboard, if your keyboard's not actually picking up the receiver on your computer. And this is the mini USB receiver that Logitech ships out. This is one of their universal ones. So you can just plug one in and use it with any Logitech mouse that's compatible with this or any other Logitech device. So let's get back to the actual keyboard. Um, first, I wanna talk about uh, the design. Um, I like how thin it is. Um, I think it has a relatively thin form factor. I like how it's not very bulky. It doesn't take up a lot of room on my desk. And it is easy to move around because it is wireless. You can just pick it up clean underneath it, or just move around to somewhere else and move it out of the way if you need to do something. There is one fault to the size of it though. It's very small, very flat. Um, when I first started using it, I realized it was very low um, to the desk. I'm usually used to my keyboards being a little bit higher up, so it did take me a little bit uh, to get adjusted to the uh, height of the keyboard. So there, But there are little feet underneath you can actually use to prop it up. Um, it doesn't prop it up that high. I'd like those to be a little bit taller. Um, but after using it for a week or so, um, I, haven't got, I have gotten used to it and it's really not that big of a deal now. As far as typing on, with the illuminated keys, um, I really haven't made much use of this. I don't type with the lights off in my room and I usually have lights on, so I can tell they illuminate whenever it is light in my room, um, but I just really don't use the feature to the full extent as in typing in a dark room and seeing the keys. Um, but as you can see here, they do light up very well in the dark. The keys are very well defined and I have no problem reading them in the dark and there's no really um, issues with the backlight in my opinion. As far as being comfortable whenever you're typing, uh, these are in-curve keys. Um, I haven't had any issues with that. Um, they're comfortable in my opinion. Um, they don't stick up very high. They're not really mechanical. Um, they're kind of in between from laptop keys to a standard mechanical keyboard. Um, I'd say they're somewhere in between. Uh, it's kind of hard to define. I did have a mechanical keyboard before this, um, and it's definitely not, nothing like that. Um, but the keys are nice. As far as features on the keyboard, there are a bunch of function keys on the top um, that can send you home so you can c compose an email, um, turn your brightness up or down, your volume, your music, um, basic stuff like that, even one for your calculator. Um, I really don't use these as much as I thought I would, um, but they definitely work and it's nice to have them and they do work whenever you do need them to. As far as battery life, um, I haven't had to really charge it since I got it, and that was over a week ago. Um, it's right now, if I turn it on and would start typing on it, it would probably show a, a lower battery level. Um, there's three lights there, it'd probably show the first one. Um, I haven't had to charge it since I got it, and so the battery life on this is very good. Um, and if you just keep your cord near your computer, you're not gonna have issues. You can just plug it in and keep using it like a wired keyboard. And on the back here is where we have our um, USB port where we can plug it in and charge the keyboard. And here is our battery indicator, like I said before, and our on and off switch for turning the keyboard on, on and off. So I talked about the design, how the keys feel, um, how the backlight works, and about the functions up top, and that all works well. Um, but one thing I really don't like about this keyboard is the spacing of the keys. Um, whenever I'm typing code for some websites, whenever I go to hit shift and then the end quote, I often hit enter, um, and that does not put what I want to put and it actually has been a problem for me. And I, that's not the only two keys that bump into each other. Um, when I'm typing, um, I do accidentally hit wrong keys and I'm, pr I'm pretty accurate as a typer. And so that's one issue I've run into is that the keys are fairly close together. Um, there's literally hardly any room in between them. And so um, if anything, that's my major issue with this keyboard is that the keys are pretty close together. Um, but that does, again, contribute to the smaller form factor. And so I guess you have to give a little bit to get that better form factor. And I'm glad they did include the number pad because I use the number pad a lot more on my desktop than I thought I would. I didn't have it on my laptop, um, but this number pad, you know, no issues here. And I'm glad they included it. So overall, this is a pretty solid keyboard. The design is very nice, very sleek. The keys are comfortable. They're a little bit closer together. The backlight works just fine. And the features on the top row of keys are nice to have as well. 
and the battery life is as good as you can expect for a wireless keyboard. And so um, the only thing it might turn a lot of people off is the price. Um, I'm pretty sure Logitech sells this on their site for around 100 bucks. Um, you can get it on Amazon at around 80. And so the price is pretty high for a wireless keyboard, in my opinion. I saw other wireless keyboards online for 25 bucks. Um, now you are getting a backlit keyboard. You are getting um, these nice in curve keys and you are getting this row of function keys up top and it does take advantage of the wireless uh, universal Logitech adapter. And so you are getting a lot of good um, functions here, but it's just whether or not you think it's worth the price. Um, I got it for a little bit cheaper than $80 and I think it was worth the price. I got it around 60 because I had a coupon I could use. And so for $60, I think it would be worth it. Um, but for $80, I'd, I'd be hard pressed to suggest this to somebody just because there are other simpler options out there um, that would meet a lot of people's basic needs. Um, but if you do like all these features and you know you like the way it looks, you like the key space, you know I would suggest it. It's a very solid keyboard. And so it really is up to the person who is getting the keyboard um, to decide whether or not they like it. Because each person, you know, they type different, their hands are different sizes. So different keyboards work with different people. I do like it a lot better than the Apple wireless keyboard, uh, but that's not really saying much because that it's really not meant to work for a PC. <laughs> but this is a very solid wireless keyboard. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know down in the comments below if you think this keyboard is worth the money, whether or not you would buy it for $80. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all your tech and game related videos. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.